I'm sure you've done this before, uh, but I found this kind of cool animation to help kind of explain everything. Um, so you take a balloon and and you um, you know you 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 scrape it against the fabric, and then after a while, you know it'll attract it like a magnet, right? It'll it'll just kind of get drawn into it. You can even place it on the wall, and it'll it'll just attach itself to the wall, right? And so. Uh, let me show you kind of what happens here. Um, let me reset this. So we'll show all the, all the charges in the beginning. So right now this is the beginning. You see positive charges and negative charges. Here you see positive and charges, positive and negative charges right here. It's a little bit hard to see, but you'll 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 be able to recognize it in a in a minute. And so what happens when I take the balloon and I scrape it up against the sweater? What you're really doing is taking off the electrons from one material to the other. So you can see that the balloon has, has um, taken the electrons from the sweater and now the balloon is charged negatively and the sweater is charged more positively. And so because they have opposite charges and we know that opposite charges will attract, then when you uh, put the balloon close to the sweater, it's going to get drawn to that sweater because the opposites do attract. And the same thing here. And, and watch what happens to the, electri uh, the negative charges on the wall. All right? so because the balloon whoops, because the balloon is negatively charged and the wall is negatively charged or the negative charges on the wall are there, it pushes the uh, other negative charges away, it repels it, and it will be attracted to the positive charges on the wall. So that's why it sticks to the wall. So because this is so negatively charged, it is going to be attracted to the positive charges of the wall. And here it's even more stronger because the sweater is very positively charged and this is very negatively charged. So if, if I put it like in the middle, right, the wall the attraction to the wall won't be as strong as the attraction to the sweater because uh, the wall is more neutral um, and and the sweater is more positive. All right, so you can see that occurring. Yet I have to get it really close to the wall for it to be attracted to the wall. All right, so I can put it as close as this maybe, and it'll still be attracted to the sweater. So that's that's what happens when. Um, when you do this to a balloon, you're actually transferring electrons from one material to the other, and you're making the balloon a negative charge, and you're making the uh, the sweater a positive charge. And when you uh, attract the balloon to the wall, the the negative charges are attracted to the positive charges of the wall. Um, so, thought thought that was kind of an interesting way to uh, visualize what's happening there, and you know, emphasize the fact that opposite charges are alike and electrons travel all right electrons uh, move from one place to another and that makes things electrically charged all right all right thanks for watching